This segment is being sponsored by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Join us in preserving and protecting Tennessee's wildlife. All right, guys, this next segment is being sponsored by Taylor's Archery. They're at 100 East Lauderdale Street over in Tullahoma, Tennessee. Or you guys can give owner Tracy Taylor a call at 931-563-7706. Let them take care of all your archery needs. Go in there and take advantage of their indoor range on these rainy days as well. And be sure to tell them thank you for all they do for us here at the show. All right, well, welcome back to the studio. Uh, guys, that was a, a great hunt that y'all were on there. We we so appreciate y'all bringing you know sharing it with us. But uh, not only I mean aside from the sentimental side, that was just an awesome hunt. I mean y'all are in the in the thick woods, which again is not really what you're thinking turkey time. Now that looked like a real good deer bedding area or something down in there. Yeah, it, it, uh, it is. But you know just it's it's thick in there and it changes the game. Number one, you don't. Uh, I know something that I notice. You, it's hard to get a direction quite as well. Number one, on exactly where a bird is, you'll think he's yep. right here, and he might be closer, but he might be more to here. So your direction's tough. Getting a shot, stuff like you said, you like to never get a shot up through there. And they can get to point A to point B so quick. Yeah. And, and sometimes it's the same <laughs> bird, and then next thing you know, it's not the same bird. No. And, you you, and that's where it's real important. Make sure you see that beard before you pull that, the trigger anymore. That's right. Because that you know things can. It can get so confusing there when you have a bunch of birds like y'all did, but yep. but awesome hunt, but even better story behind it. That old gun still worked just fine, didn't it, Hook? Hey? Yes, sir. You, you just didn't know about that old TSS ammunition in there. Didn't hear any flopping. No. It, None. It's just usually not a thing with it. Um, it's, we don't endorse it or anything like that. It's nothing like that, but I do use it, and and I'll tell you from experience, you just don't get as much of it, so <laughs> you kind of had the feeling you might have missed the bird, and he eased on out of there, but when Anthony knew. Anthony he mentioned it about the he didn't hear it flopping off so he's got ears unbelievable yeah. and then it's, I, it's the, but and i was shaking now like i That's said this was my it. first rodeo <laughs> but I, I was pretty cool calm collected until the shot but after the shot it all kinds of memories and stuff but when he mentioned that I, oh i didn't hear any flopping either <laughs> thought you might have been doing a little <laughs> celebrating but, ahead of time well, huh? but i guess you know the way y'all do recovery stuff and and when we eased up that ridge i mean it was obvious there he yeah, was just right. you know yeah. and it hit me it hit me like a ton of bricks it hit you then didn't it it hit hoot about like a ts hit it hit. yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. and yeah. it was a good turkey man i mean it was it was yeah, a good was. three maybe even possibly four year old yeah. turkey and you just it's hard to say you luck up on them but you know, it's, it's, that's just they not like a two-year-old running in that's on right. your yeah. Jake or something. It don't something. happen every day, that's for sure. I, I have shot a lot of turkeys, and the vast majority of them are like everybody else. You know, they've been a mainly two-year-old birds. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just your typical bird that gets taken, and in, in not only our state, but any of them. It's usually a two-year-old turkey. Yep. So when you do get that inch-and-a-half spur bird or whatever it is, and those, those big hooks and that big long beard, there, it is special. Right. It's it is special. And did, did y'all ever get happen to get that bird weighed? I don't know if you who'd ever weighed it. One, one one thing I was going to mention typically in is you're normally going to be a little bit lighter with yeah, an older yeah. bird. Yeah. Well, see, our birds in West Tennessee, Brandon, uh, you know. Ours are true eastern. You know, a lot of y'all's birds come They're from LBL and That's stuff right. and yeah. Missouri, and those are naturally genetically bigger. But a true eastern bird in West Tennessee is only about 14, 17 People pounds. People just can't and believe that, I know can they? Two years ago, uh, my last two, and I killed them like in the second week. They only weighed 14 pounds. That's yeah. it. Hmm. A lot of people, I, that's probably one of the most misunderstood things, I, I believe, in, in hunting is turkey weights and things. You see so many, I'm not saying it doesn't happen because it does, but you, all these pictures, and normally it's 24 pounds or 25 pounds. Yeah. A 25 pound turkey is on the upper end of the spectrum of one of the yeah. biggest possible birds. But an average gobbler, even around here, honestly, is about 17 to 19 pounds. And, the and that's a big bird. And the older, usually the lighter. Yeah, you know, and the later of the season. That's right, later the later of the season. Like, that's just like a buck. Right. Just like a buck. Chasing, but yeah. man, like yesterday, some of them jakes I seen yesterday around the house, man, they're huge. Yeah, the jakes are now, I mean, they're getting bigger they're and big. big. Yeah, I, I remember Pertle and I one day, we tag team on two jakes a long time ago. They weighed 18 and a half pounds a piece. Huge, yeah. 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 
But again, that's kind of like that two-year-old bird being bigger. They're more about they're walking around feeding in. They're, they're getting a lot more food. And said, now that three-year-old bird, he's the king man around there. That's right. He don't do much eating. He does a lot of running around there yeah. for, yeah. for a while. Uh, but yeah, it just blows people away when they hear like you talking about a 14, 15 pound mature gobbler. That's absolutely the case. That, that's and, right. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's a great bird. Yes. That's a big trophy bird. I don't care if it weighed 12 pounds. That's, that's right. <laughs> you, know. you know, but that's what I was telling Wade in the apex. I said, Wade, you know, Really, you know, middle and east Tennessee birds, they're going to weigh bigger most time than west Tennessee I birds. I agree, they will. You know, I don't think he knew that, but it's just from the genetic that they come from. You yeah. know, there's nothing you can do about it. That's just nature of the beast. It is. You know? right. And it's in the east Tennessee, in my opinion, I believe they're even a little bigger. I yeah. got a buddy of mine that I've hunted up there. You know, you yeah, know Nathan, Nathan, good friend of yes. ours. He, he helps with some video and stuff for us. But around the Morristown area and, and up closer to Knoxville, some of those areas, Man, I grew up, we, we hunted through college and some years after that up there with him on those dairy farms up there. Mm -hmm. Those birds look like pterodactyls, man. <laughs> yes. I mean, they're huge, just yep. huge coming out across the field. And I, it just blew me away how big those birds were, and you know, compared to our right. birds here. And then you go there and they're a little different, but they're, it just shows you the diversity you know, the, the, re, the rest, restoration of the wild turkey was a nationwide effort. You know, and so it's it's kind of like with our deer around here, but you're seeing these birds have been, you know, they've done everything they can to get them restored. So you're not going to have just one clean, this is the eastern turkey, That's and it right. lives in Tennessee, and this is what it is. It just don't work that right. way. Yeah, because uh, I, I know. know my neighbor, Greg Overton, he uh, he killed the biggest bird, and I, and I weighed it and took pictures of it. It weighed 26.2 pounds. That's the only bird over 25 pounds I've ever seen in our yeah, county. Yeah, I've rarely ever seen you anything know? like that. Who, in all your years, all those gobblers, what's the heaviest one you ever remember? Uh, it, are you talking about from Tennessee? Yeah, well, yeah, just in general. I mean, Tennessee uh, or South Carolina? Well, South Carolina, if you, and I'm talking about beginning of the season, if you got a 20 pound bird, you got bragging rights. Okay. I mean, if the gobblers are still together yeah. type thing, they haven't dominated right. or dominance right. factor. Yeah. Uh, but me personally was Missouri. Okay. A lot of times, because of the section I used to hunt a lot, would open the, the third Monday in May yeah. or something, I'd, I'd be able to come back and get, actually yeah. get an opening hunt. And I killed a, it was a two year old and it was 24 plus pounds and I, you yeah. know, I'm somebody walking in to check it in and like at a mom and yeah. pops type place and they all grinned at me like, and people were checking in 26, 27 pounds. Yes. I said, well, mine ain't no baby, but you know. <laughs> right. Isn't that incredible? But again, it just shows the diversity. And, and where the turkeys have been in some areas, they're going to be one thing. Some they're going to, they're going to be another side. Just like a deer, an elk, anything else. That's you right. know, when you have a nationwide uh, restoration effort like that, you're just going to end up with a blend. There's nothing wrong with that. And the thing is, that. when you're hunting, that weight don't affect it don't my heart rate. Yeah. One way yeah. or another. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 only 16 yeah. pounds. We're going to let him go. You get right. four turkey hunters <laughs> sitting in here talking like we're talking, and it'd be like somebody knows a stream lot about fish or yeah. the area where sure. the fish or yeah. what they're doing it. Mm -hmm. That fish was that big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That yeah. turkey weighed 27 yeah. pounds. Yeah. It was all 27 pounds. <laughs> well, guess what? That's a memory. <laughs> it was. No matter how it's, you know. And there's nothing wrong with that is. Shoot right. now. Uh, well, we're going to get ready to go over now and do this week's tip of the week. This week's tip of the week is being sponsored by the Tennessee Outdoor Rendezvous and Deer Expo. We just had that this past weekend. I wanted to leave this up this week too, just to remind you know remind you guys it'll be coming up again next year. But to thank West Stone, Vincent Landing, and the team, they put on an excellent show. We had a great, great time down there. If y'all missed it, I'm sorry that you did, but you want to make sure that you get to the next event. We're working on it now. Wes is working on some new dates and things for it for the coming year. We're super excited about that. That was an awesome it show. It was a great yeah. show. Th those bucks, I, the, I, I, people's <laughs> asked me about. <laughs> and I told him that's the best display of Tennessee bucks yes, I've ever thought. Hoot, you got a tip for us. Which yes, I do. It, it doesn't matter when you started turkey hunting or how long you've been turkey hunting, but I can almost assure you you've heard this one thing from every turkey hunter that talked to you or you were trying to get information from, and that's patience. I have the patience of an oyster, a turkey guide. I'm responsible for my hunter having a great hunt, a safe hunt, number one. That's first and right. foremost. But a, a good hunt, great memories. But if you're patient, try your best to, to get to know turkeys. It doesn't matter what state you're in. It doesn't matter what, you know, what 
the weather is, it doesn't matter. And uh, up to a certain point, turkeys are habitual. They certainly are. But there's a certain time of the year, and we get to enjoy it as turkey hunters, that there's a dominance factor. And once it's established, all of a sudden, if you're patient, because I know you see a lot of TV shows that there's a lot of calling, there's a lot of yeah, running really and gunning, and it's like this. Patience is, is And please key. don't think I'm bragging. He's the one that started this stuff with how many I've killed and everything, or had killed. Yeah. As of the close of this year's season, it's 621. If y'all noticed on this show tonight, how many times did I call, and how loud did I call, and, and how much did I call? That's exactly Just right. Just one very, very Patience. small sequence. Yeah. I was turned to the right to shoot this turkey, and this happens all the time. That didn't pan out, but there was turkey, a turkey to our left also. And, and I was lucky enough to have an extra set of eyeballs. If you'd over it probably wouldn't happen. But if you patience, if patience you is key. That's the deal. Patience is key. If you educate a turkey, you have done. You have literally almost but shot yourself in the foot. That's a saying now. I ain't saying shoot yeah. yourself. But patience. I have. I've got a strict rule in myself. If my hunter and I, if I'm guiding and we we say work a turkey, we got response and everything. I give it one hour. If he shuts up, because a hen, a hen you don't know about might have went to him. Yeah. They won't forget. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you for sharing that tip with us, guys. We're going to get ready to take a quick break. We'll be right back with some more Southern Woods and Waters.